with Jackson, I learned that the wild man image was in fact just that, that he was actually very much in control of his passions and managed to make a virtue of his vices, which is, a, I think, a characteristic of all great leaders. In Jefferson's case, what I had not fully appreciated was how driven he was for temporal and political power. We think of him as the master of Monticello, as the airy philosopher. Uh, no, uh, he was very much a day-to-day -day working politician uh, who from 1769 until 1809, for those 40 years, was almost constantly in public office or seeking it. And I think one of the reasons that I find it interesting to find out how recognizable those people were is I hope it might lower our own blood pressure a bit about the problems of the present because there was no prelapsarian age. There was no golden era in which everything was perfect and only if we could get back to that.